Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Asus VivoBook 16. This is going to be the X1605 models. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your heatsink assembly, and your fan. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to go to the bottom case where we can take out your screws. So as you see here, you've got four screws along this bottom edge. You've got two screws here, two screws here, and two screws in the middle, giving you a total of 10 screws. After all those screws are removed, you're going to take a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. I say plastic because they tend to scratch your cases a little less than metal ones do. But you're going to take it and go around the outside edge, the seam, between the bottom case and the palm rest, and gently but firmly pry the bottom case off from your computer. Now don't put the pry tool too far in, you could damage some internal components. Keep it on the edge, and if you get stuck in, in one place, leave it. Go to the other edge and work your way around in the other direction. This one wasn't too difficult to take off, just so you're aware. After you get your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now as a quick side point with computer repair guys, whenever I'm working on a computer in my shop, it's sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer when you're working on them. If you need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer projects, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, to the tools and supplies that I would use on this model computer, as well as all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model of VivoBook. Now, one thing I do before touching anything in a computer, guys, I either remove or at least unplug the battery. A computer is safer to work on when as little power as possible is running through it. So here's your battery right here along the bottom. To get this battery up, there's four screws and it's plugged into the motherboard right here. Now, if you see in, in your plug, guys, there's a metal part right on top that holds down the plastic plug. So to get this off, you're gonna slide that metal part up to free this up and then you can snap that right off, up and off of your motherboard to get that battery out. Okay, so now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. So we're gonna start with your fan right here. It's held down by these two screws near the corners and it plugs into the motherboard right here. So in addition to unplugging this from the motherboard, you also need to watch out for these antenna wire that run through it. So first of all, in order to unplug it, as you can see, there's a grip on either side of that plug so you don't have to pull on the wire, which is good. You can use your fingernails or a pry tool to pry that out of this port. But you also may want to undo your antenna wire that run through here. So these are just very simple snaps that snap onto the Wi-Fi card. You just pull those straight up and off of that card and they snap off. Uh, to get them back on, they have to be at a straight 90 degree angle. And if you push on it, they'll snap back on. If they're not at a perfect 90 degree angle and you push too hard, you can damage them. So be careful. It may take a little bit um, if you're not used to this, but you can get those back on. After you unrun those wires, get them out of there, unscrew the fan, you can get that fan up. And then to access your heat sink assembly, you have these two screws here, this screw here, this one up here, and of course, these four over your CPU area. If you guys are here because your computer is overheating, uh, maybe you're trying to clean out your fan, your heat sink, maybe reapply thermal paste, there'll be a video link above, also below in the description. It'll be a tutorial video on how to address an overheating computer. It'll show you how to clean this out, uh, clean out your vents, and how to reapply thermal paste because there are some things you want to take into consideration. You want to clean off all the old stuff first. You don't want to put new paste on top of old paste and you don't want to put too much new paste down. So again, that video link will be below in the description if that's something you need. I hope this video was helpful. It's how you access, again, the fan and heatsink assembly in this model laptop. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share, subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials, and for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation, and there's a couple ways to do that. 
First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.